like who the heck sits their ass down like all day long to play a game with talking ants okay it's a good game okay it's really relaxing i understand but hi hello welcome back today i'm going to be filming or starting to film another crochet with me video this time instead of a top i'm going to try to make a bag i do have some inspo from like a photo that I want to take and like basically recreate so I guess it's not inspiration I just like want to recreate the said bag from the photo but yeah anyways um I don't know if y'all have watched this anime but it's called buddy daddies but I am the type of person who likes watching the OPs and the ending so I always like listen to it and like watch it at least like once through and I noticed in the ending of buddy daddies midi is like wearing a bunch of different like outfits and it's like super cute and then there's this one outfit where i think she's wearing like an orange sweater black skirt and then like tennis shoes and then she has this belt bag that has like little cat ears on it so i thought it was so super cute and i just want to recreate that for this video so my number one recommendation for if you're making something that you've never made before take something that i already have so this kappa bag that i've had for a while and I kind of base off the new design that I'm going to be making off of like something that I already have. So for example, um, I'm going to try to make it look something like this with like the sort of like the same straps. But there are a few changes that I'm going to be making and I'll just discuss them with you. It's not really relevant, but I'm going to discuss it with you anyway. So if you can tell, there's like a decrease right here where the seam is because this top portion of the bag is bigger than this bottom portion but i'm just going to make the top and the bottom the same size and there's also like another compartment here and like another zipper at the very front i'm gonna make it take it easy and make it easy for myself and i'm just going to have one zipper on the top right here and then just like one huge compartment and then the strap part i'll change so they have like this back buckle um but i do not want to buy one and i don't want to like search for one so i'm just gonna use this sort of buckle right here yeah that's the plan um so discussing the yarn that i'll be using usually i like using cotton yarn but i ran out of my worsted weight cotton but i do have some of this milk cotton yarn it says cotton but it's like i'm pretty sure it's just acrylic actually yeah it says polypropylene and i think that's just like acrylic that's basically just plastic but yeah anyway i'm just gonna be using this so uh, yeah without further ado let's just start this project <laughs> So before I actually started on the actual thing, I just real quick made a gauge swatch. So it looks like this um, and the thickness is pretty good. Um, I didn't want it to be too thin and so like too flimsy because I'm not using something stronger like 100% um, cotton. So I think this will work out for my purposes. Here this is it. Yeah. Good girl. All right, so I'm back and I just quickly made sure that this bottom part kind of matches up with the bottom width of the top part of the bag. So now basically what I'm going to be doing is making increases from either side. So someone asked me how I managed to like stay motivated when I'm working on my projects and how I crochet so quickly. So i know it might look like i crochet super quickly but i actually don't i just spend a lot of my time crocheting i'll crochet literally every single time like i have some free time i'll just like crochet basically and that's usually at like nighttime so i'll literally i don't even know how to describe it like basically if you walk into my room at nighttime and you kind of and you're curious about what i'm doing i'm just crocheting <laughs> I'm literally just either crocheting or knitting like that's literally all I do like I have other hobbies of course um but crochet and like knitting is I suppose like one of my main hobbies but yeah the reason why it seems like I crochet like super quickly is because I just do it a lot <laughs> And then as for the sort of like motivation part, I just really like crocheting and 
that's kind of what motivates me like the enjoyability of it i suppose and also me wanting to see like the final product or like the final project when i'm done with something is also a huge motivator because it's just kind of like oh wow i made that you know <laughs> another question that someone asked is how did you get so good at crocheting and pattern making so like a lot of other people i struggled a lot when i first started like when you crochet like a square my square would not look like a square it would look like a trapezoid or like some weird organic shape that it has zero resemblance to like a square so it was like a, honestly a lot of practicing and a lot of learning and then they also said how did i get so good at pattern making well it's mostly like a, a trial and error thingy like i'll say that i was really confused when i first made my first pattern um a few years ago because I wasn't entirely sure like how to start it and one of the things that helped me the most was actually kind of like maybe referencing a few stylistic points of other people's patterns like so I would see how they write their terms of use and I would kind of take some of the um like terms that they had and then like apply it to my own pattern like I would read it and they'd be like oh I don't want anyone to like manufacture or like post my paid patterns like online and then as for other things like actually creating it I had I highly recommend make, um, making your patterns on like Canva or like Photoshop if you have Photoshop because it makes the formatting a lot easier and in general it just looks more pretty and more aesthetic. I don't even know if I'm answering these questions really well but I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Somebody asked, do you crochet while doing other things such as watching a TV show? I do. I actually I crochet a lot and i knit a lot like while watching something to the point where if i want to watch something like i have to be doing something like i have to be like knitting or i have to be crocheting or else it just feels weird to just like sit there and watch the stuff without like doing something with my hands but i will say though that if you're making something that's more complicated or if you're like a beginner it'll be more difficult to focus on like both things because you'll have to like make sure that you're inserting your hook into the right stitch or like knitting the right amount of like stitches in a certain like part of the pattern or whatever but once you get used to like not having to stare at your work all the time when you're crocheting and knitting it gets a lot easier and it's totally okay to not be able to like focus on watching a, a movie or something while crocheting or knitting you don't have to do that if listening to a podcast or like listening to music or even like sitting in silence is what you prefer is, is what's most comfortable for you then honestly just go ahead and do that that would work as well Somebody also asked me what my dream crochet project is. There is this one project that I do want to work on that's inspired by something a Star Rail character is wearing. So when I first started playing the game, March 7th is one of the starter characters on your team. And I super love her outfit. Like it's so freaking cute. And the part that I like the most about her outfit is like the sleeve part where in the back it's like this huge cuff with like a bow on there. And there are like a lot of other aspects of her um, outfit that I think is really cute so I really want to make something inspired by her outfit. Let me just make sure that this is going well. Okay, it's going well. Someone asked, how much do you think you've improved since you started crocheting? I think I've improved quite a lot um, from me not being able to make a crochet square to look like a square to like actually making garments that I actually wear outside but yeah, I, I like to think that within like time, a lot of the things that you were really bad at in the past, you'll get better at it. Of course, I don't think that everybody's gonna be like a genius at something after working on it for a really long time because I feel like geniuses are really honestly born from talent and I wouldn't say that I'm talented in anything in particular. I just have a lot of passions for like a certain subject or a certain hobby. Someone asked, um, do you prefer knitting or crocheting i like both but i do prefer crocheting like if i were to ditch one hobby and like only participate in, in the other one i would 100 percent choose crocheting how did you start your fiber arts journey i started it in the midst of covid like a lot of other people i was in my last year of college and i happened to pick it up i think it was because i wanted to make dog sweaters for pickle because i thought it would be cute and i had like like a lot of time because um school was like on a semester like almost a semester not a semester like a month long like hiatus like we just didn't have school for like one month and i had to like go back home and everything um but yeah that's when i picked
picked up crochet. Someone said biggest inspirations or influences. I've talked about this a few times, but I draw a lot of my inspiration from like characters or like other people or certain aesthetics like so for example i really like cottagecore and like fairy core things so that's why i made the milkmaid top in my last video but the main inspiration that i get are actually from like video game characters or like from people for example my in young sweater was inspired by tony Yin, who's from genshin impact and he's basically this exorcist who can't exercise anything because he has like too much yang energy so the demons and the spirits like always stay very far away from him <laughs> which is kind of sad but it's fine but yeah i made my yin yang sweater and my yin yang vest um based off of him because of the yin yang pattern that he has in his idol animation another thing that i made that was inspired by a certain character is the uki sweater and i made that one inspired by uh this vtuber from niji sanji ian called uki violetta because i thought that because he likes like straps and stuff and because his character design has like a lot of like buckles and straps and stuff that it would be cute if he wore a sweater that was like that someone asked what's my favorite thing to make i really like making garments like clothes because i feel that it's really fulfilling to make a larger project because then you get to like wear it and then you get to be proud of yourself <laughs> which is nice because in the past i wasn't really proud of like a lot of the things that i did like even if people complimented me or were like oh wow that's so cool like i didn't have a lot of things that i could be proud of so i'm happy that crochet can be a source of that for me let me make sure it looks good oh it looks good and then someone asked what other hobbies I have so I have a lot of hobbies that are related to art so prior to crochet I really enjoyed um, like painting and drawing so another huge hobby of mine is playing video games prior to like my last few years of college like I never like I just do not play video games like I mostly play mobile games but I wasn't even really into those but after Animal Crossing came out and my brother introduced me to it I quickly became addicted to that game and i literally couldn't stop playing it for like literal hours like every single day that summer like who the heck sits their ass down like all day long to play a game with talking ants okay it's a good game okay it's really relaxing i understand but like i was just like honestly personally flabbergasted at myself now when i think back on it like the amount of hours like i spent like hours on that freaking game hours man but it was a good four-way into like video games because then i started playing indie games on steam and then my little sister introduced me to genshin impact which is basically the thing that i've been obsessed with for like the past few years i haven't like missed one day of like login that's how freaking obsessed i am which is which might be an issue but you know we don't we don't talk about that it's okay I'm just going to finish off this front panel and then I'll start on the other panels. the next day i basically just worked on the front panel and here i'm just matching up my front panel and i did want the back to be slightly larger so as you can see it's a bit bigger and so yeah i just worked on that and then finished it so on day three, I did sit down and I filmed like the rest of the answers to the questions that I got on Instagram, but literally I didn't realize that the audio was so horrible, like literally like ear bleeding horrible and terrible that I, I cannot, I literally cannot include this like in the video. So I'll just like answer those questions later on, like in a later video or something like that. I don't know if you want to listen to what it looks like, but this is what it looks like. But I am okay. 
and so yeah that's why we're not gonna be we're not gonna be putting this inside the video or listening to it because i don't want to subject you guys to like torture the rest of that day i did end up finishing the front panel which was what i was working on when i was answering the questions and then after that i basically really quickly just cut out the pieces that i needed for the lining of the bag So I was basically attaching all the pieces together and as I was attaching it, I didn't realize just how much like bigger these pieces are. I know I did want it to be like a little bit taller, but now that I'm like looking at this by itself like this, this is kind of way too big for like a belt bag. So even though I don't want to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to like frog, not everything. I just have to frog this back panel and like the front as well. It's like around around like two hours of work and then like a bit of work as I was basically single crocheting the edges together and stuff but you know I'd rather have something that I think is like really cute and that works well for my purposes rather than continuing on with like a project that I'm not entirely satisfied with <laughs> Day five was basically just assembling everything together. So I put in the lining, clipped that in, sewed that in. And I also took the time to sew in the zipper in the top of the bag. And then I assembled the bag by attaching the top of the bag to the rest of it. And then that was basically all I did that day because I was too tired to do anything else. <laughs> So I haven't talked like at all these past few days because honestly I just felt like dead. I was like literally deceased, like so fatigued that like I just didn't want to talk. But yeah, anyway, before I like finish off the bag with like the little cat ears, I just wanted to show you all how I make an adjustable strap. So on one side I have this thing, it's just like a normal buckle without a bar. And then on this other side, I basically just made a really, really long strap. And what you're gonna do is make sure that your strap is straight take the buckle with the bar and then thread the end of this through like so you can push it up a little bit and then what I do is I take this end right here and you stick it through like this over and under and then you'll meet the buckle again with the bar and you basically just shove the end of it through and then once you shove that through and it does take a bit of effort basically what you'll do is you'll close it by folding this flap down and then just sewing along this line right here and once you've done that and secured everything you should have an adjustable strap I think it's really quite cute and I like the ears, the zipper front, and the lining is also pretty nice despite the fact that I'm not very at sewing. And I super like the adjustable straps as well. Those are really functional and really easy to slide back and forth. The only thing that I would change if I were to make something like this next time is instead of one huge front panel on the front right here, I would actually make three separate panels. So I would make one for the side right here, for the very front, and the side on the other. Um, side but yeah um overall again i do like the way that this turned out obviously it's not like a direct recreation of the one that meaty wore because i did change like a lot of things and i did reference a different bag that i had instead of just referencing the photo itself so if you watched all the way through and you're just now watching this part thank you so much for sticking around and even if you did watch a little bit in the very beginning and then just skip to the very end i thank you for that as well i'll see you all next time bye bye